Tonight, neighbors in San Francisco are angry. Angry because people at a party caused thousands of dollars worth of damage. The trail of vandalism includes four cars and at least half a dozen buildings. New at 11, ABC 7 News reporter J.R. Stone talked with some of the victims. He's in the newsroom. J.R.? Dan, I was just in this neighborhood that you're about to see last week. A story where an unhoused woman wouldn't leave the block and stacked up her items in front of entrances to buildings. Crews cleaned it up. Then turns out that a day later, partygoers come out and tag everything in sight with graffiti. Busted out windshields and dented in roofs in not one, two, or three, but at least four cars on Gordon Street in the Soma District of San Francisco. That and, well, fresh graffiti everywhere in sight, most of which is too vulgar for TV. I mean, this is just so much damage in such a short period of time. As for what led to this, well, let's just look at the pictures from Saturday night showing a massive party taken from the hidden cameras connected to this car. In one of the shots, you see a man who decided to take to the roof of the car. Multiple neighbors tell me this annual underground and unsanctioned street party started after the stud bar closed in 2020. A famous San Francisco LGBTQ plus establishment nearby that was also tagged. The stud, which was a trademark here, you know, for the community, but I think it's been shut down for a couple of years. And instead of going into the stud, now all the parties are here on, on the street. It's usually during Pride weekend is when the big party happens here. This one was worse. This one, uh, uh, the tagging was comparable, but the fact that they demolished several cars or windshields and hoods and what have you, completely undrivable. I found a leftover lime on one of the broken windshields, a joint on the other. It appears this was quite the party. I also talked with the owners of those vehicles who told me they were frustrated that someone would have a total disregard for their vehicles. And it was just really um, frustrating and um, tough to see that happen to my car when I came back. San Francisco police showed up Monday to take police reports as neighbors were describing that the graffiti was all the way up to the roof of several buildings as fire escapes were used. I asked some in the area what else police or authorities could do. Come in patrol, keep things, I mean, I don't think somebody would be destroying property if they saw a police officer here. Bigger concern also is how could they get away with them? This didn't happen in five minutes and they, they set up and left. That victim, Michael, there lives here in San Francisco but was planning to drive his car home to Canada in the next week or two. Now he can't because his car is undrivable. At last check, insurance was not going to cover it either. No arrests have been made, and the tagging is still up. J.R. Stone, ABC 7 News.